everyone and welcome to our final week of our gifted series you have made it well done so today we are looking at our last and final gift so i'm sure by now you can guess what that is but i'm going to give you a little clue out of my gift bag and you can see if you can guess what our gift for today is can you get it can you get it today we are looking at the gift of mercy Oh, bonjour. Oh. Merci. Aha. Friends, can we please focus? I said mercy. Alrighty. Now, mercy is the gift of showing compassion and kindness to those who need it. Basically, mercy is showing people, well, the heart of Jesus. And so today we're going to have a look at what mercy looks like in action. But before we get into that, we're going to have an awesome time of praise and worshiping our King. So let's all stand to our feet. I have decided I'll go if you go with me On my own I'm history only you can carry all my shame I have decided I'll go if you go with me On my own I'm history Only you can carry all my shame Satisfied Searching of my soul
you're always the same And you will never let me go You're always in control Heaven is our home word meaning thank you but in fact a word that carries the heart of Jesus that mercy is showing kindness and love and kindness and to compassion to those around us so now are you someone who finds it easy to show mercy or maybe not so easy and also the question is well who do we show mercy to is it just to our friends and just to those who are kind to us well let's see what Luke 6 verse 35 to 36 has to say about that question. Love your enemies, do good to them, lend to them without expecting to be repaid. Then your reward from heaven will be very great and you will truly be acting as children of the Most High, for He is kind to those who are unthankful and wicked. You must be compassionate just as your Father is compassionate. 
So this scripture answers that question very clearly that we are to show mercy and kindness and love and compassion and forgiveness to everyone. Chunky, if you ever want to speak to me, bro, I'm here. Hey bro, do you think we should invite her? Nah bro, she's mean and she's a bully. No. No. Oh bro, you know, Jesus says we need to treat others like they want to be treated, you know? Hey, do you wanna do you wanna play with us? Yeah, you man. And you know what, you should join us for, for church, you know? Yeah, yeah, you should. Come on. For church? I've yeah. never been to church before. You know what, it's fun. I promise you, you should, you should definitely join mm -hmm. us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I second that. Cool. Okay. That's it. So, in that video, we saw a few examples of what mercy looks like. Remember, mercy is showing kindness and compassion to people, whether we think they deserve it or not. It's forgiving someone even if they don't deserve it. Now, Jesus showed us the ultimate act of mercy, but dying for us on the cross and forgiving our sins. You see, me and you, we didn't deserve that, but we got it, that free gift that Jesus gave us, that mercy. Well, we're gonna look at a story in the Bible where we see mercy in action. Have you ever heard the story of the Good Samaritan? Well, if you have, or if you haven't, here it is. Jesus once told a story. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. By chance, a priest came along, but when he saw the man lying there, he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. A little while later, a temple assistant walked over and looked at him lying there, but he also passed by on the other side of the road. Not too long after that, a Samaritan came along. Remember, Samaritans were not friends of the Jews. And when he saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his own donkey, took him to an inn where he took care of him. The next day he handed the innkeeper two silver coins telling him, take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. 
Now which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? Jesus asked. The man replied, the one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, yes, now go and do the same. So here in the story, we see a beaten up man who was offered help, who was shown mercy. Now he didn't deserve that help. He did nothing to earn that help, but the good Samaritan showed him mercy. Now this story needs to encourage us that we too would be people who show compassion, even if it costs us. You see, in that story, it cost the good Samaritan to help that man, but he still did it. He put the needs of that man above his own. And so for us too, we need to put the needs of others above our needs, showing compassion, showing mercy wherever and whenever we can. What is going on kids? It's that time of the day. Yes, sir, it's time to get all step up five in your bodies. Maybe like step up three or four, those are personally my favorite. I don't know which ones are yours. If you haven't watched Step Up, I would suggest it because it involves dancing and that's what we're gonna do right now. So stand to your feet, get ready because this is actually our final week. So that means we should all know the moves by now. And that means we're gonna shake it off like Taylor Swift once said. So get ready, get set. It is time to dance. Make some space. Make sure you're not gonna be hitting your brothers, your sisters, that person around you. And let's get into it. Let's go. It's all about the gifts. It's all about the gifts. It's all about the gifts God's given us to bless. It's not for selfish reasons. It's not to make us cool. It's not to make us popular or be too cool for school. It's all about the gifts. It's all about the gifts. It's all about the gifts God's given us to bless. To bless all those around us. To bless all those in need. To bless those God has called us to, whoever that might be. It's all about the gifts. It's all about the gifts. It's all about the gifts God's given us to bless. It's all about the gifts. It's all about the gifts. It's all about the gifts God's given us to bless. So, what exactly are these gifts? Let me tell you. But first, are you ready? There's prophecy. To prophesy. There's service. That could be my thing. There's teaching. Is that maybe me? Encouragement. Could be. There's also generosity hmm. and leading if you're called to it, but don't forget mercy. That too. And do it cheerfully. We get to show the whole world Jesus. We get to be the body of Christ. We get to shine His light around us and make this life we're living count. We get to show the whole world Jesus. We get to be the body of Christ. We get to shine His light around us and make this life we're living count. It's all about the gifts. It's all about the gifts. It's all about the gifts God's given us to bless. It's not for selfish reasons. It's not to make us cool. It's not to make us popular or be too cool for school. It's all about the gifts. It's all about the gifts. It's all about the gifts God's given us to bless. To bless all those around us. To bless all those in need. To bless those God has called us to, whoever that might be. It's all about the gifts. It's all about the gifts. It's all about the gifts God's given us to bless. It's all about the gifts. It's all about the gifts. It's all about the gifts God's given us to bless. Okay, I think I get it. Let's recap one more time. There's prophecy. There's service. There's teaching. Encouragement. There's also generosity and leading if you're called to it, but don't forget mercy. And do it cheerfully. We get to show the whole world Jesus. We get to be the body of Christ. We get to shine His light around us And make this life we're living count We get to show the whole world Jesus We get to be the body of Christ We get to shine His light around us And make this life we're living count There's prophecy There's service There's teaching Encouragement There's also generosity and leading If you're called to it but don't forget mercy and do it cheerfully. Showing mercy to those around us shows people the heart of Jesus Christ. As children of God, we are to show love, compassion, and kindness to those around us, especially those suffering. Can we take a moment now and pray to God that He would open our eyes to see opportunities where we can have compassion 
love people and show kindness towards them, even if they might not deserve it or if it might cost us a lot. Can we pray? Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are the ultimate example of kindness and mercy to us, Lord. I pray that you open our eyes so that we can see when we can show kindness and compassion and mercy to others. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I stand before you now The greatness of your renown I have heard of the majesty and wonder of you King of heaven in humility I bow Has your God created us, He created us with the hope that we would choose to become children of God, who live a life of purpose which can only be found in Him. Our journey of purpose begins by putting our life 
in Jesus' hands and allowing Him to come and live in our hearts. If you've never let Jesus come and live in your heart and you want to be able to call yourself a child of God, then pray this simple prayer with me. Dear God, thank you so much for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross for me. I ask you to come and live in my heart and I ask you to please make me a child of God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, that is it from us today and for this series. That is it. That I'm, I'm pretty sad. Yeah, I'm pretty sad. I hope you guys have found what your gift is. If you haven't, please rewatch all these episodes so that you can find what gift you have. And if you have found the type of gift you have, how are you using it in your community? Remember, the gifts that we have aren't for us. They're for the people around us and to give glory to God. So, for today's Fun Day Sunday challenge, I challenge you guys to see how long you can keep up a toilet paper roll. Do you know how you would be kicking up a ball into the air? I want to see how long you can keep up a toilet paper roll in the air. Let's see how many you can do, how many uh, bunts you can do into the air. And then just let us know. Cool. That is it from us. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. Cheers.